We are doing the numerology and astrology. This one is for March 17th, 2022. I appreciate everyone showing up and joining me here on my channel, and I hope you find this enjoyable. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 17, and if you add the 1 and the 7 together, you get the number 8. The number 8 calls to those that want to hold purity of thought, purity of soul, purity of speech, purity of heart, and if you can't tell, this number is definitely about purity. This is a number that reflects the infinity symbol. Stop for a moment and feel how we are each infinite beings having a human experience in a finite realm. While the energy that is within us will never die, we have to have a body in this dimension to experience and learn. And that body is caught within the rules of this plane of existence. But when we reconnect to our infinite soul and essence, we discover that there are unlimited resources available to us and energy that we had perhaps forgotten. Within, uh, within us is a source of energy that has the ability to transcend time and space. The realization of that truth can give us doorways beyond sadness and disappointment and into places that can give us motivation, determination, and enthusiasm. The astrology today. <sighs> the days continue in the emotional intensity that clearly is refusing to end anytime soon. The Virgo moon tries to get us to look at the practical side of life and do what is necessary to normal, necessary and normal to keep our sanity. While it may not seem to work, at least the routine of daily life can give us some solace and comfort. The overstimulation of Uranus cannot seem to slow down the minds nor calm the hearts of those feeling the unfolding drama in the world. Communications will dramatically increase and many are looking for options and creative ways to stop the onslaught of so much suffering. Let the ideas flow. We need to look at every possible option that is available to us. There have to be solutions to the current situations, but that only words, when, when one is, uh, there must be options in the situation, but we are only going to get there if we are dealing with reasonable people. And there is one out there that is determined to be scary, threatening and crazy in his approach to world domination. But such intensity and insanity causes others to come together and there's a strength in numbers. The forces of good are merging and that can make this world turn in a direction that can make a difference and change the current negative trajectory of one terribly dangerous man. All this is occurring because of the Mercury Uranus sextile and the Mercury and Pluto semi-square. Tension will continue to mount and we have to expect more distress to be seen and experienced. Know that anxiety cannot be hidden any longer and there are some that do not cope well with such unrelenting and distressing information that continues to overload all of our circuits. We cannot mentally loop on issues that we have limited knowledge or answers, but that is going to happen regardless. We are unaccustomed to this type of reality and we cannot help but distrust elements that continue to distort, blame, and try to manipulate. We must stand up to those that continue to align with evil and silence those that are tools who have been bought and paid for by dangerous men that have no care for truth and want to destroy our culture, values, and government. It is a day to try anything different. Turn off the news and do things that are life-affirming, simple as best. We cannot allow others to take and destroy our inner peace while we figure out a pathway that can lead towards justice and the protection of the people that are suffering. Thanks, everyone.